IBM Resiliency Orchestration complements your existing cybersecurity and disaster recovery solutions. It helps you be better prepared in the event of a cyber attack by monitoring configuration files for changes and equipping you with verified snapshots of your data. Let's begin with a look at the Platform Configuration Dashboard. This dashboard gives us a bird's eye view of cyber exposures within our organization. The first thing we see is a count of changes to configuration files that we've categorized as critical exposures. We can see the number of changes made to configurations and whether there's a record of the change in our change control database. A change that hasn't been authorized is one that needs to be looked into immediately. We can see exposures by category and what kind of endpoint it's on. And we can see exposures over the past week, their current state, and which ones were remediated. Now let's look at the Cyber Data Dashboard. Here we see a view of our cyber data snapshots as well as their verification status. In a cyber attack situation, we can quickly figure out the healthiest snapshot and recover from it. For each application, we get a breakdown of which snapshots are available, their recovery point objective, or RPO, their recovery time objective, or RTO, and the last verified snapshot for that application. We also have the ability to define configuration monitoring profiles. These tell IBM Resiliency Orchestration that this file needs to be monitored on a regular basis. To set them up, we give each profile a name, assign the frequency of the monitoring, and attach it to a subsystem or a Linux device. We can specify whether changes should be considered critical or non-critical, and how frequently to monitor this particular configuration. After that, Resiliency Orchestration will monitor that configuration based on the schedule we define. Malicious cyber attacks will often attempt to make changes to critical configuration files. IBM Resiliency Orchestration is set up to monitor for configuration changes, making it easier to be proactive and to mitigate damage from a cyber incident. Let's see it in action. Here we'll perform an on-demand scan, which will scan a device or endpoint for any changes in critical files. In this case, the scan detected two changes to a Linux group application. We see a brief overview of the change, its severity, the status, when the scan discovered it, and whether a ticket has been logged. We can accept the change or do a revert of the change if we find it was unauthorized. If we need to further investigate, we can mark the change in progress. If we want to know more, we can see exactly what the change was. This gives us additional confidence about what to do with the change. If we accept the change, Resiliency Orchestration will create a golden copy of it. This means the next time there's a change, it will validate it against this golden copy. That will also be the copy we'd go back to if we determine a change should be reverted. You might be prepared with a disaster recovery environment and backup data. But if a malicious attack impacts your production data, chances are it's impacting your DR as well, since the two are connected. And it can be a slow process to validate your data backups and recover from them. That's where IBM Resiliency Orchestration snapshots come into play. Resiliency Orchestration gives us a regular process for creating and validating snapshots. So in the event of an incident, we don't waste time restoring from a bad snapshot. Here on our Cyber Data Dashboard, we get a bird's eye view of our snapshots. We can associate snapshots with application groups. Here, we're looking at an application called AG Sales Order Processing. We see exactly how it is protected in the disaster recovery environment and the cyber data recovery environment. This protection is available for all our applications. We can see the various available snapshots and the verification status of each one. We can see whether each snapshot is categorized as yet to be verified, verified, verification in progress, or verification failed. And we drill down into the details about each snapshot as well. IBM Resiliency Orchestration lets us perform regular drills on our snapshots to verify them. We can run drills with workflows that are provided out of the box or ones that we create ourselves. Drills can run on a schedule or on demand. Here we're running an out-of-the-box workflow called the Cyber DR Test. As the workflow runs, Resiliency Orchestration shows the progress and lets us know if it's awaiting input. In this case, it's prompting us to select an available snapshot for verification. After we select a snapshot, Resiliency Orchestration mounts it as a virtual machine. 
Once that VM is launched, we can log into it and run any verification scripts we want to. Then we can come back and mark the verification status as appropriate. If we verify it, it becomes stored as a verified snapshot. In this case, let's say we ran the verification and it failed. We'll mark it invalid and add an appropriate comment. IBM Resiliency Orchestration unmounts that virtual machine and cleans up. On our list view of snapshots, that snapshot is now marked as verification failed. We can automate these steps as well to make snapshot verification even more efficient. Knowing which snapshots have been verified and which haven't will save valuable time in the event of a data recovery.